they found out that it was cancer, neuroblastoma, and it's something that's rare that does, they really don't have much case history on it. A mother's worst nightmare the second time around. 21-year-old Scott survived cancer when she was only nine years old, about the same time the rest of us were dealing with Katrina. Ten years later, cancer again. This time, the tumor's in her head. Treatment is tough, but this we know. Folks from St. Bernard Parish are fighters, survivors, even if they're a bit camera shy. Because I have a life to live. <laughs> I don't know, just because I know I'm going to be fine. I feel inside that I'll be fine. I'll be able to beat this. There's a lot of people that know Sky and love her very much. They know she's a fighter, and she will beat this, but she needs a little help with the blood. You know, she's already had a transfusion already, and she will need more. There's something about the parish rallying to one of their own. St. Bernard commemorates Katrina Plus 10. The Blood Center's blood mobile will be set up at the parish governmental building. A chance for folks to do as they always have, give back. To be someone else's hero. You might not meet them, but you're somebody's hero. St. Bernard does know a little bit about surviving, especially heading into the heart of hurricane season. Blood becomes critical, essential for Sky and so many others. For the kids at Children's where Sky is being treated, they need almost 4,000 units of blood every year. Sky is a hairstylist by trade, her boyfriend gearing up as a St. Bernard Parish firefighter. Blue collar, hard working, like the parish itself. The blood mobile will be set up at the parish council chambers. She told me, I'm going to be okay. This is just a thing. Just a thing. Just a thing. For this young optimist, the sky is the limit. And what she needs now is prayer, treatment, and blood. On your side, Heath Allen, WDSU News.